Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Master Cool Hydraulic Flaring Tool to make a double flare. If you'd like to see how it's done, please stick around. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. With this tool, we can make double flares in 3 16 through 3 8 of an inch, GM fuel lines in half 5 16 and 3 8 inch, push connect fittings like Ford uses for fuel lines in quarter, 5 16 and 3 8 of an inch, along with metric bubble flares. Today we will be using the double flaring dies. We have 3 16 brake line, so we will need to find the 3 16 dies. It'll say 3 16 45 degree inverted. 3 16 45 degree inverted. And you'll notice that one side is flush at the bottom and one side has this indent in it. The side with the indent is the side that goes towards the handle of the tool. You'll also need this little piece that makes the first half of the flare and on it it'll say 3 16 45 degree inverted. We'll also need the tool. We'll need a tubing cutter and we'll need a deburring tool. We'll also need the cone to make the second half of the flare. The rest of this kit can be set to the side for now. Now that we've located all the tools that we need, we can start making this flare. The first step, we want to take this tubing cutter and we want to cut the end of this brake line flush and square. Here's a little better view of that tubing cutter. When I turn this thumb screw, this cutting wheel moves up and down and these two rollers sit on opposite of it. So I'll set the rollers against the pipe, I'll turn the thumb screw until that cutter touches the pipe and I'll give it really not a whole lot of tension. I'll give that a spin or two. I'll tighten it just a little bit more, give it another spin or two, and I just keep going until that cutter wheel slowly cuts all the way through. It's not a race. If you crank this too hard, you will deform the pipe. To get a good flare, you need a pipe that's perfectly round. And just like that, you have a nice flush clean end. Now all that's left is to take this deburring tool and just deburr that, just that little bit on the end there. Now we're ready to flare. Making a double flare is a two-step process. For this first step, you will need these two dies, this piece of the die, the tool, and of course your brake line. When you set your brake line in these dies, you want the front of the brake line to be flush with the edge of this die here. So you want to overhang the inside of the die by the depth of this hole. I find it works best if I set my dies in the tool, use my thumb to push the dies against the bottom and the back of the tool. If the tools are not against this back bar or this bottom piece and they're out at an angle when you clamp them down, your flare will not be centered, will not be square. Slide your line in with the end of your line flush with the end of these dies and the dies push down against the bottom and the back you want to tighten it down and then look and you'll see that I have it out too far so I'll loosen this up just a little bit I find if I pull it out to slide it out and then tighten it I have a better chance at keeping everything square if I push in to do it I usually push it off of the bottom here so now I want to tighten this, not super tight, but enough to hold that line in place. That line is now even with the end of there. Unscrew the handle so that you can slide the corresponding tool into there. And then you want to screw the handle in. So the center of that die piece goes inside of the line. Once the handle is screwed all the way in, you will now tighten this little thumb screw and pump this until this goes all the way into there and bottoms out. 
Once that bottom's out, once this gets hard to pump, loosen that half a turn. Unscrew the handle until you can slide out this die. You now have a bubble on the end of that line. To make the second half of the flare, without loosening this handle, take this cone. You may have to unscrew this further to get the cone unscrew this further to get the cone in than it was to get the other tool out. Screw the handle back in. Tighten that that half turn you loosened it and pump this again until it stops. Once it stops, you can unscrew that. Unscrew the handle. Loosen this handle. Now you should have, if everything went, if everything went according to plan, a good double flare. Make sure you put this nut on the line first, because it's really hard to put it on the line after. But that's all there is to making a double flare. Thank you for watching my demonstration of the MasterCool hydraulic flaring tool. This is by far the best brake flaring tool I've ever used. I highly recommend the product. Thank you for watching and until next time, peace.